Hey, what's up guys? So we got a new challenger for probably one of the best rank 4 XYZs to ever hit this game. We got a new card called number 101 Silent Honors Arc Knight or 101 Shark Knight. Let's go ahead and jump straight into its effect. He's got good attack too, 2100 attack, and it's a generic, which means any deck can make it. So his effect is you can detach two materials from this card, then target one face up attack position, special summon monster your opponent controls. Attach it to this card as XYZ material. You can only use the effect of uh, 101 Shark Knight once per turn. If this face-up card on the field would be destroyed, you can detach one material from this card instead. That is an absolutely absurd effect. He's got good attack. He's got really no downside. He can still attack the same turn, and, you know, you can get multiple things, you know, as material for it. It's just, you know, you can only use the effect once per turn. Sure, you lose both of the material, but that's fine. That means you get to steal their monster, and then you get to protect themselves. So, not only does it get rid of your opponent's monster, but you still have some type of utility where their card doesn't even hit the graveyard until they technically try to kill this monster, whether they destroy it by battle or by card effect. And then, technically, you still have, you know, uh, this card you know, on the field. You can kind of protect itself. And if you ever use some other card to, you know, try to get more material on it, as the game is right now, there's not really any good cards you can just attach as material. You know, there's not one card that you can just, like, attach multiple material with that is really good in the game. Maybe in the future there might release some support where it's like, uh, attach this card and count it as two materials or something like that. But this card, absolutely game-breaking. I think this is a new card that we need to main deck. And if you guys are wondering when this card is coming out, it's coming out in Legacy of the Valiant. It's going to be super rare in the OCG, which means in Japan. So that means for TCG, you know how Konami likes to troll us and then always give us the cards as secret rare. So be on the lookout for this card. I know we just got Shadow Spectres, but it's always good to look ahead of the game, and I think this card is definitely a staple for every deck, uh, you know, unless, you know, you can't, uh, you know, get a hold of one, because like I said, more than likely this card will probably be a secret rare, but uh, let me know if you guys are going to main deck this uh, in your decks that can, you know, make rank 4s. I think it's a staple, but I'd love to know what your guys' opinions are on it, but like I said, it's got good attack, it's got a good effect, and it protects itself. This card is just absolutely crazy. It's crazy to see how much Yu-Gi-Oh! has evolved uh, in the metagame, but anyways, hopefully this card will not be secret rare, but, well, you know, you can just... I'm waiting for it, but anyways, uh, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this card, if you have any. I think this card is kind of OP, <laughs> but then again, I thought that generic rank 4, um, noble arm, like that, that beetle look, the Kaiman Rider card that has the effect of, like, Judgment Dragon or something like that, that's a generic card, but yeah, this card looking absolutely hot, but anyways, thanks for watching, guys, Asian Eyes, signing out.